There have been monsters in the movies for almost as long as movies have existed. The big scary guys are usually there purely for shock value. But even though monsters by definition usually have no emotional lives of their own, an exceptional monster movie can make us pause to think in new ways about ourselves and our world. After we've stopped screaming, that is. Here's my list of the smartest monster movies of all time. Must be a million of them! Nope, just one. In nearly all the monster movies on this list, society enlists the help of some science expert or employs some militaristic technology to defeat the beast. Tremors is different. In this story of dagger-toothed earthworms terrorizing a remote desert town, it's left up to a ragtag group of grizzled locals to save the world, or at least their little patch of it. Hey guys, what's going on? Before MGM's lavish, widescreen Forbidden Planet, sci-fi movies were nearly always low-budget B-movie affairs. But the studio poured millions into the story of space travelers who stumble upon a planet where the resident monster is not only invisible, but a character discovers the danger is literally all in their head. Plus, the script is based on Shakespeare's The Tempest, so how smart is that? Director F.W. Murnau wanted to make a film version of Dracula, but he couldn't get the screen rights. So he instead made what has to be the most artful rip-off movie in history. Within a decade, Dracula would forever be identified with the suave, continental performance of Bela Lugosi. But here is the vampire in all his grotesque glory, horror personified. In the 1931 classic Frankenstein, Boris Karloff's monster was seen largely as a dangerous child prone to deadly, uh. immature outbursts. No, you're hurting me! No! When we meet up with him four years later in The Bride of Frankenstein, we discover Frankenstein is now capable of loneliness and love, very human qualities that ironically make him more dangerous than ever. Ah! We belong dead. Ah. Ah. Welcome to Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park, director Steven Spielberg lulls us into appreciating the dreamy beauty of reconstituted dinosaurs. Then he rudely reminds us that the combination of teeth as long as kitchen knives and brains as small as walnuts can have monumentally bad consequences. As the roaring T-Rex mindlessly bears down on the characters, Spielberg poses one of the modern world's most nagging questions. Science can do almost anything, but should it? Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? I thought I was the only one who saw Whiplash, the story of a sadistic music teacher terrorizing a young student, as a monster movie. Then I sat down with the film's producer, Jason Blum, who specializes in horror movies like Insidious and The Purge. And yep, it looks like I had the right idea. Whiplash is a scary movie about a scary guy. Traditional scary movies that we make are definitely mostly for, for younger people. Yeah. I'm way too old for them. <laughs> Yes, here we are, back in 1920s Germany, but no list of smart monster movies is complete without the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, Robert Vina's nightmarish tale of a hypnotist who commits murder through a sleepwalking man he keeps in a box. Emerging from the First World War, the film explores themes of authoritarianism and the power of suggestion. It also remains one of the most authentically nightmarish movies ever made. There had been satirical monster movies before. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein was one of the best. He can't get in here. <laughs> but Mel Brooks' young Frankenstein is one of a kind. Brooks' retelling of the Frankenstein story ingeniously serves as both a send-up of Universal's monster films of the 1930s and as a strikingly original entry in the monster film canon. That's Frankenstein. You're putting me on.
When we first meet the giant ape in King Kong, he has everything you'd expect in a monster, a roaring, mindless killer. But director co-writer Marion C. Cooper pulls off a neat trick. By the time Kong plunges from the Empire State Building, we've come to sympathize with him as a victim of exploitation by greedy humans. What's more, every computer animated film in the modern era owes a debt to King Kong, the first film to feature a dramatic performance by a virtual actor. It was beauty killed the beast. Don't be deceived by Godzilla, the clumsily edited U.S. version of the Japanese classic Gojira. The original, as seen by post-war audiences in Japan, is a thrilling yet melancholy fable about a nation held in the grip of powers beyond its control. Less than a decade after Hiroshima, the monster of the film was unleashed on Japan as the result of U.S. nuclear weapons testing. Gojira is finally overcome through deadly technology developed by a Japanese scientist who takes the secrets of his invention to the grave rather than see it used against people in the future. As a commentary on human warfare, Gojira is among the most profoundly thoughtful science fiction films ever made. No, no, no. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! The monster in director Ridley Scott's Alien makes a pretty spectacular entrance as a baby, but after it scurries into the shadows, we never get a really good look at it again until the final showdown. In between, Alien is a spooky, disorienting shadow show, a film that lets the audience's imagination do most of the director's dirty work for him. In engaging our subconscious so thoroughly, Scott draws us into the film's horrors in a way few films ever have. Weird, isn't it, that the creator of Cuddly E.T. would have two monster movies on this list? The shark in Jaws is a prototypical monster, soulless, remorseless, mindlessly driven to wreak death and destruction. What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. We spend an hour and a half following the shark's bloody trail before we finally get a good look at him. And even if the film's mechanical shark is a tad fake looking, it doesn't matter. Spielberg has already burned into our imagination an image of pure evil. You're gonna need a bigger boat. A Quiet Place is the newest monster movie on this list, and it takes first place thanks largely to co-writer, director John Krasinski's ingenious embrace of elements that have defined classic monster films for a century. The monsters, in this case space aliens who use their uncanny hearing to track down human prey, are barely glimpsed through most of the film. Still, their presence infects every frame. As in other classic monster films, humans soon discover that technology can be their own worst enemy. The absolute quiet required for survival wraps the film in a surreal, dreamlike fog. What's more, in an era when society seems incapable of enduring even short moments of quiet reflection, a quiet place imagines a world where loud, unguarded discourse is not just annoying, it's downright deadly. Finally, like so many memorable movie monsters, these creatures' most infuriating quality is their mindless detachment. Nothing personal, humans, but we're just hungry and you are just delicious. <laughs>